How's it going? I think I got a bit too much time on my hands and um, I ended up making some DNA. Slight resemblance, anyone? No? Okay. Talking about DNA replication. DNA replication and how DNA replicates because it is this weird uh, sort of swirly whirly double helixy thing and it's like, well how the hell do you make two of them from one, you know? And there were three theories to begin with as to how this could have happened. Um, the, the conservative replication, dispersive replication, and semi-conservative replication. And we're gonna go through it, and I'm going to attempt to use these, I don't know how, but I will attempt to use these to, to show you what that means. So let's get started. Uh, so, we've got a, a piece of DNA, and the idea was that, of course, the two strands had to come apart for anything to, to happen to them. So, there we go, these strands are sort of coming apart, right? And the conservative replication was simply the idea that you split the two apart, and then you had uh, some machinery that uses each as a template to make some additional strands and then they just go back together as they were they wind up again you've got the DNA thingy again and then the other two newly formed strands assemble together to have be a separate one so the original template stays as one and it just uses a template and that was a load of crap then the second theory that was put forward was dispersive replication which was it a bit of a crazy idea really logistics wise uh, which was basically, again, we've got a starting point, which is the DNA, and it unwinds, again, it unwinds, we've got two strands available, and this idea was that sections of each strand were being produced anew, and I don't even know how to explain this, this is how ridiculous this idea is, that you somehow have, like, this bit of the strand stay the same, and then the next bit replaced with new nucleotides, and then the next bit stay the same, and then the next bit replace the new nucleotides, and you've basically got like a mosaic of like, this strand is part original strand, part new strand, and this strand is part original strand, part new strand, and then uh, they come together with some other strands, and you've got like a mosaic of randomness, and it's like, woohoo, woohoo! Anyway, that was a load of crap as well, you can see why, it makes no sense. And this brings us to the reality of the matter, which is how it actually replicates, which is semi-conservative replication. As it turns out, the right answer is somewhere in the middle. Make of that what you will. So again, we've got DNA, right? The strands come apart. La 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 la. And you do have the machinery. What is this machinery? Well, we have the nucleotides available uh, themselves, the new material. You can't make something out of nothing. This can be just be hanging around. You need something. Something, right? Anyways, you've got this enzyme, DNA polymerase. It makes DNA, right? And it, pu it puts together new nucleotides based on each strand as a template. So far, so good. It sounds like the first theory was the conservative replication where each strand is a template. So you make new strands based on these two templates. Now the difference is that instead of conservative, it's semi-conservative, which means that these strands don't simply go back together and then the new strands form a new DNA molecule. They stay separate and the newly formed strands on the template just stays there. And that, with its new strand, becomes one DNA molecule, and the other one with its new strand together becomes another one. So then you end up with two new DNA molecules, and one strand on this one is the original, and one strand on this one is the original, and the other strand on this one is brand new, and the other strand on this one is brand new. Don't worry for my mental health at times.